Hello guys, welcome to my 22nd video tutorial on XHTML and CSS and in this video I'm going to talk about forms. So forms are a very important part of a uh, web page because uh, it makes possible for the user to either log in with a username and password or to for example register if it is a new, uh, a new user. Uh, so a typical form or register form is this one right here that I have. It's a good example. Uh, you have first name, last name, business name, email, phone. All this is um, data from the user, okay? And we call these sections here where we put the name and uh, the data, uh, we call that inputs, okay? So I'm going to show you how you can build. Um, a form more not s with so many things like uh, this one here but with a first name username sorry uh, first name last name an email address or phone and uh, an address for example so let's start uh, creating our form the first thing we should do is open notepad plus plus and here it is. Okay, so let's start creating a new uh, HTML file. So we have to type HTML, close HTML. And here, let's type the head section, close head. You can type here a title if you wish. Close title and uh, the body of course close body and inside the body let me just save this first save as I'm gonna save this in my desktop inside the portal here let me open the portal and let me save this as uh, form dot html let me just save this okay uh, as you see the portal is this folder here that I have in the desktop you can create that and now to start creating a form we have to type the tag form and then down here let's close it form between these tags we will create the inputs remember the inputs were the part where the user um, is able to type their uh, data the name uh, the address all that now let me start by putting here um, let me type name and now we type uh, the symbol uh, bigger than and input type text name equals and here we can type um, username okay and we close that now let's save this and let's open this here with Chrome let's see how it's going okay here it is now for now we have a name and uh, an input where the user can type whatever he wants uh, okay in this case the name of the user Victor as you see okay uh, now let's type the second input down here which is going to be last name so to do that we type uh, let type last last name and we do the same thing input type equals uh, or instead of last name let's just change this and type password so we are creating um, a login form so input type text here name and here we can type 
password. Save. And let's open this, refresh. And now you see you have a name and an input for the name and a password and an input for the password. Now, I don't want this to be like this uh, next to the name. I want the password and the input of the password to be down here. So what we have to do here is to create a line break, as you already know how to do this. I told you before, this will uh, send this line here um, to the next line. As you will see, if I click now here, refresh, and here it is. Okay, so now we have uh, name and password and you see if I type here Victor and here I can type whatever password I want okay so this should be a login system and another thing I can show you is how to make these numbers or the password not visible to the user uh, instead of uh, showing the password we will see some dots to do that we just have to type here instead of text in the input type we type password okay let's go back refresh and you'll see that let's type name Victor and oops sorry and here when I type you see the password it only shows um, the dots. This is a, a pr more professional way to present the password when we type it. Okay, let's just do another um, input. Let's type, for example, address. Let's type here input type equals here we can type text and name and here we type address name is something that we will use in uh, JavaScript okay name is uh, an attribute or a property uh, to identify the input okay so in JavaScript I will uh, go more deep into this and you'll see what is the meaning or how we can use uh, the name property but for now ju let's uh, just uh, just type this as I typed it here okay uh, here I have name address let's close this oh I forgot to put a line break here let's just run this in Chrome again or Firefox as you wish okay and oops I forgot the D here sorry address okay let's go back here refresh and here it is okay now we have three inputs and you can still go on and on with um, as many uh, inputs and um, informations as you wish for the user to complete okay I'm just gonna uh, leave with these three and now I'm gonna uh, type here uh, submit button create a submit button so let me type another line break here and here I'm gonna create an input type equals submit name equals you can type here submit close that save it and here let's refresh and here we have submitter just have to type here another line break here refresh okay so we have here a button uh, called submitter but if we I want to change instead of submitter I want to 
uh, to be um, type here uh, something different like um, submit or send let's type send so to do that we have to type here value equals let's type here send save here refresh and here it is of course when we click nothing happens because this is a part that we will learn in JavaScript or uh, PHP, okay? We still don't have the knowledge to grab information from a form and send it to the server. We will learn that in the PHP chapter, okay, guys? Uh, but now we know how to create, uh, at least we know how to create a form or a login system. Um, let me show you also how you can... Uh, give a limit, a character limit, uh, to each uh, input. As you see, I can go ahead and type as many characters as I wish, uh, but I'm going to show you how you can limit that. To do that, we have to use a property in the inputs called max length. Okay, now let's, let me give you an example. Let's type here max length equals and let uh, let's type uh, 10 for example and let me grab this copy and put it in here and in here as well max length 10 to every single input let me refresh and now let's try to type Victor one two three four five and six i'm clicking six and eight and nothing happens okay so it's working the limit is working you can try yourself let's try again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that's it we can only reach ten it doesn't let me type any more here as well I'm clicking and nothing more happens and address as well the limit is 10 characters okay guys so you can limit uh, each input to the character uh, number of characters you wish okay it's a pretty cool feature and uh, it um, it helps uh, or provide or prevents that the user uh, types long strings of information um, okay um, this is all for now and uh, if you have any questions uh, just send me a message or uh, post your question in your um, in the comment section below okay see you guys in the next video bye